Hi everybody, this is David with Cartoon Fortress and I have an interesting unboxing for you today. And I'll just kind of slide this box into view here. Um, this comes from the Criterion Collection and this is their, I believe it's officially their, their biggest release to date in terms of content. Um, but the Ingmar Bergman set might be rivaling it. Anyways, this is the Olympic Films set, which spans from 1912 to 2012. And I'm gonna go ahead and get right in here. Whoops. Maybe I should have done this before, but. All right. All right, so there, <laughs> this is a large set. All right, sorry about the camera work here. That is a doozy. All right, and the nice thing is this got shipped to me uh, in a box within a box. So there were kind of multiple layers of protection. That is really big. Um, so here we go. This is the 100 years of Olympic films, as I stated, 1912 through 2012. And this is kind of an official, uh, officially licensed, I guess you'd call it, uh, Olympic set. Um, so that's what the top of the box looks like. And then we'll kind of show you. So here's the side and then this will be whoops good to <laughs> hear some stuff rattling around in there um, if you want to read up I know we've got some of the maybe we'll take the the plastic off here first and I'll show you this again but here's kind of the synopsis and contents and information on what this set is and this yeah it does have the officially licensed product of the olympics uh heritage i'm not sure if that's the looks like that's the official name of the organization all right so let's go ahead and get inside this set but only if it'll let me And I do want to mention that the Barnes & Noble, at the time of filming this, of course, the Barnes & Noble 50% off sale is going on for November of 2019. So all month long, you can get 50% off uh, Criterion titles, and it also works with your membership discount if, uh, if you're a Barnes & Noble member, you get that additional 10% off. So this is a really good time to get sets like this. Whoops. We're okay, guys. All right. This is a very big box set here. Um, okay, so here on the... See if I can maneuver this here. So here on the side... That's the artwork on the s oops, on the side, and then on the other side. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the top off there. So we'll set that, set that aside. Okay, so a lot to unpack here. 
So first up we have, I'll take this out, we have a gorgeous uh, hardbound book. And it's definitely a book. This is no <laughs> Criterion booklet. Um, and on the side, guys, I'm really sorry. I know the camera angles and stuff on this are horrible. Um, so 100 years of Olympic films, 1912 through 2012. You get that heritage logo on the back again. And then I'll go ahead and set that aside. We'll, once I have this cleared out of the way, then I'll come back to it and kind of show you inside the book a little bit. So our discs are housed in these sleeves. So you pull this out. So the first one is Stockholm 1912. And you get the kind of the information of the games and who directed it. So this is 170 minutes on this first disc. And let's take a look at what the discs look like. All right, so there we have disc number one. Cool design on that. And then you get that image on the on the front. So let me just go ahead and I won't pull out the discs on every one of these, but we'll kind of show you what we've got here. So we have, uh, oh guys, I'm gonna butcher this. Um, Chamonix, uh, Shamani. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not going to even get close to that one. 1924 and then Paris, 1924. I can pronounce that. Uh, St. Moritz, 1928. I guess that's one reason you watch stuff like this is so you can educate yourself on how to say certain things. Uh, Amsterdam, 1928. Also Amsterdam 1928, that's discs four and five. Uh, boy, I kind of got myself into a hole here having to pronounce all these. Uh, Garmisch uh, Partenkirchen 1936, Berlin 1936, again, so sorry. <laughs> uh, St. Moritz 1948, London 1948. Uh, Oslo, 1952. Helsinki, 1952. Uh, Cortina de Ampezo, 1956. Melbourne and Stockholm, 1956. Squaw Valley, 1960 and Rome 1960 uh, Innsbruck 1964 Tokyo 1964 and that's one of the ones I'm really excited to watch the Tokyo Olympia uh, Olympiad um, Tokyo 1964 and Grenoble 19. 68. And then on the second side here we have Mexico City 1968. Uh, Sapporo and Munich both 1972. Uh, Innsbruck 1976. Montreal 1976. Lake Placid 1980. Moscow 1980. Uh, Sarajevo 1984, Los Angeles, 1984, uh, Calgary, 1988, Seoul, 1988, Seoul, 1988, part two, uh, Albertville and Barcelona, 1992, uh, Lillehammer, 1994. Atlanta, 1996. 
1998, and Sydney 2000. 1998. Salt Lake City, my home state of Utah, 2002. Athens, 2004. Uh, Turin and Beijing, uh, so Turin, 2006, Beijing, 2008. Vancouver, 2010. And finally, London, 2012. And where we stand here in 2019, we're getting ready, of course, for the games next year in Tokyo. All right, so that is uh, the content um, disc-wise. And, yeah, and I guess I didn't show the backs of, the, of each of these, but again, you get the location and the year and then just a little bit of information about the games and the director. All right, so let's go ahead and push that gently aside here and let's take a little bit of a look at the book here. So again, really, really thick, really nice book. Um, we'll go ahead and take a peek here. Won't show you everything, of course. It's a thick book and be fun to look through if you do plan on picking up this set. Uh, text by Peter Cowie with a restoration history by Adrian Wood. All right, so we get the table of contents. This looks like we get a lot of Gonna get a lot of really nice images and write-ups about each of the games. So needless to say, there's a lot of content to get into in this set, not only with the discs, but with the book as well. It's, I'm not gonna lie, an extremely overwhelming set, but it doesn't need to be watched in a day. You can space it out over time and enjoy the amazing work that Criterion's done here. There we go, Salt Lake City 2002. And that was actually the year that I graduated high school, so that's gonna age me, but yeah, that was a fun time in Utah, that's for sure. Very busy time in Utah. All right, and then some a write up on the kind of the closing. Um, so then you get some acknowledgments and production credits, and then about the scores, and then yeah, just copyright information. So, um, so really, really nice companion book there, and that fits nicely in there. And then, so of course, goes back over the top there. All right, so this has been a look at the 100 years of Olympic films, 1912 through 2012. This is from the Criterion Collection, and during the sale, you can pick this up for $199.99, uh, and that's at 50% off. Again, you can get an additional 10% off if you're a Barnes & Noble member, and that for this much content and for this beautiful box set, I feel like is uh, a no-brainer for someone who enjoys um, sports documentaries, uh, you know, the Olympic Games in general. Um, but even past that, I feel like these are going to be very wonderful, very human uh, kind of films, which I, I thoroughly enjoy. So I'm. Really excited to get into this set and, and uh, kind of formulate some, some further thoughts on what we get here. So this is David with Cartoon Fortress. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know if this is a set that you own or if you plan on picking it up. Also, let me know 
what your favorite Criterion set is in your collection, if, if that's something that you collect. And until next time, this is David with Cartoon Fortress signing off. Have a great day.